Hey there and welcome back. We are going to do another um, yoga video today and this one is inspired by the fact that I, like many people, <laughs> have been sitting so much more since quarantine started way back in March. It has been so long and if you've been sitting a lot more than normal or if you tend to sit regularly and your low back hurts or your hips hurt or you know you've got that line of pain kind of going down the back of your leg the sciatica or the hamstring pain um, I just wanted to go through some simple stretches that you can do after work that you can do before work um, because these are deeper stretches I would I would recommend doing them as part of your recovery not your pre-workout routine um, because when we stretch deeply, we kind of destabilize just a little bit around the joints. And if you work out really heavy right after a deep stretch, you put yourself at risk for, uh, or at greater risk for injury. So um, this is a great cool down. This is a great before bed. This is a great, okay, here we go. Get to work and do some stretching. Um, pretty easy to do. All you need is a little strap. I have a loop in the end of mine. You can easily do this just by doubling it. You can use a belt, you can use a towel, you can use pretty much anything as long as it's not stretchy. If it's stretchy, it's not going to give you the grip that you need to get a good stretch. So we're going to do all of these lying down on our backs, nice and comfy. Alright, so for starters we're going to take one leg, stretch it out nice and long, and then we're going to hook that strap on the other foot. And then you're just going to bring that leg up until you hit just a nice stretch. You should feel this kind of going down through here. So notice I don't have my knee like super locked out. There's a little bit of bend in it. That bend is okay because it protects the knee. Super locked out and you might hyperextend a little bit. So just a tiny bend. If your leg is doing this, you're probably a little bit too far. So we just want to keep that. Toes are nice and relaxed. We're just going through this nice big hamstring stretch and a little bit into the quad. If you want to take this a step further and get a little extra, you can put this strap right up under your toes and go for a little bit extra quad. So that'll be pulling down on those toes and extending up through the heel that will stretch more through um, the calf. Sorry, I've been calling it the quad. That's your calf. This is your quad. I swear I know what I'm talking about. So you're just going to take that nice deep stretch here. Three to five nice deep breaths, just as far as you are comfortable going. If you think about it on a scale of one to ten, one being no stretch, ten being starting to get a little painful, we never want to go above about a seven. So it should be maybe a little uncomfortable, but not sharp pain. Sharp pain is bad. So then, step two or stretch number two, we've done our hamstring. Now we're gonna go for our IT band. This is his whole outer area. You can take this leg down to about a 45 degree angle. Keep your hip grounded. I'm gonna scooch over so you can see just a little bit better. There we go. So this hip is gonna stay down while I take my leg across. So you can either stay at this angle. If you feel pinching in this crease, open up that hip angle a little bit. If you don't feel any stretch at all, maybe take it a little bit higher. And you're just gonna go as far as you can. I'm stopped by the wall here, but I wanted you guys to be able to see just a little bit better. But you're gonna get this nice stretch along the outside. I feel it all the way down to my ankle because the outside of my calf is a little bit tight. So again, just three to five breaths. Longer if it feels great. Be mindful that there's no pinching or discomfort. You can always open up that angle to get rid of that pinching and discomfort. Stretch number three in our series. We're gonna go for a little bit of inner thigh, but also front of the opposite hip. So you're gonna bring that leg just as high as is comfortable. Keep your hips rooted on the floor. Your hips gonna to wanna to roll like that. Keep it down. So you're wanting to keep your whole back on the floor as you open up your leg. Sorry, I'll keep my leg. <laughs> Sorry, you guys had to look at my foot there. And you're just gonna open up. You can't see my leg anymore because it's off to the side, but I'm using this strap here to hold it, and I'm getting a great stretch all across the front of my hips. 
Another nice three to five breaths. Bring it back up. And then you pull the old little switcheroo. And you take that. And you go into your nice hamstring stretch. Maybe add a little calf to it. Pin the hip down. Take it across for the IT band. Again, you can drop that angle if you need to. Find that comfy spot. Nice deep breaths. And then you take it up and over out the other way. I always run into this problem. So I can never find the right spot to stretch where I'm not running into a wall or the bed that my laptop is sitting on. I'm always running into something while I'm stretching. But anyway, you guys get the idea there. Just three simple, easy little stretches that are gonna help relax your hips and your lower back and hopefully make you feel just like a little bit more relaxed and a little bit happier at the end of your day. Happy stretching. Remember, no sharp pain. Sharp pain is bad. Listen to your body. Be mindful of your breath. Have a wonderful week.